ever pondered about the power of resourcefulness and its impact on cash flow? It's a thought that's worth your time, especially in today's fast-paced world where adaptability and innovation are key. Resourcefulness, the aptitude to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties, can be a game-changer. Let's take a moment to look at an ancient story that holds a powerful lesson about resourcefulness. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, we find a widow in dire straits. She was left with a debt she couldn't pay, and her only possession was a small jar of oil. Yet, she didn't let her limited resources deter her. She sought guidance, used her last jar of oil and miraculously, the oil multiplied. She sold the oil and paid off her debts. This story illustrates a key point. It's not about how much you have, but how you use what you have. It's about turning the smallest of resources into a steady stream of cash flow. It's about seeing opportunities where others see obstacles. Just like the widow, even in the face of adversity, we can tap into our inner resourcefulness to improve our cash flow. Wondering how this ancient tale connects to our modern world? Let's delve into the story of the Shunem woman from the second book of Kings chapter 4. A wealthy woman, she was resourceful and hospitable, offering up her home to the prophet Elisha whenever he passed through her town. Recognizing an opportunity to serve and connect with a man of God, she even went as far as constructing a room for him. This wasn't just about generosity, it was about resourcefulness, using what she had at hand to create value. Now you might be thinking, I don't have an extra room to offer, or a prophet passing through my town. But that's not the point. The point is that this woman used what she had available, her resources in a creative and beneficial way. Let's translate this to our modern world, to the realm of entrepreneurs and business people. Think about what you have at your disposal. It might be a skill, a tangible asset, or even a network of contacts. Can you leverage that in a way that generates income or adds value to your business? Consider the rise of the sharing economy. People rent out their homes on Airbnb, their cars on Uber, or their skills on platforms like Fiverr. Each of these individuals is essentially doing what the Shunem woman did thousands of years ago, using their existing resources to create a stream of income. Or perhaps you're a business owner with a warehouse that's only half full. Could you rent out the remaining space to another company? Or maybe you have a knack for social media marketing. Could you offer your skills as a consultant? The key is to think creatively and to recognize that resources aren't always tangible assets. They can be skills, time, relationships, or even space. And just like the Shunem woman, you can use these resources to generate a steady stream of income, improving your cash flow. Just as the Shunem woman used her resources to provide for Elisha, we too can use our resources in ingenious ways to improve our cash flow. I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our supporters who actively engage by commenting and sharing our content. I also want to mention GetAIKeys.com, a platform that offers a subscription model to help people profit from AI. Their subscribers can access the portal to learn about creating income through AI-infused systems and services such as Opus Clips, a tool for making short videos similar to the one you are watching now. Additionally, subscribers can get assistance with their queries related to AI and business. So, how can we harness resourcefulness to increase our cash flow? Let's start by understanding the essence of resourcefulness. It's all about being able to adapt to new or challenging situations by thinking creatively and making the most of what you have. It's about turning obstacles into opportunities and seeing potential where others see lack. For instance, consider the story of the widow in the biblical passage from 2 Kings 4. She was in a dire situation, burdened with debt, and with seemingly scant resources. But with the prophet Elisha's guidance, she used what she had, a little oil, and turned it into a resource that not only cleared her debt, but also provided a steady cash flow. Similarly, in our lives we might not have a prophet to guide us, but we do have our ingenuity, our talents, our time, and sometimes, even our little bottle of oil. The key is to identify these resources and find ways to maximize their potential. Take a moment to look around you, what resources do you have at your disposal? It could be your skills, your network, your passion, or even your physical assets. Once you've identified them, think creatively. How can you turn these resources into a source of income? Maybe you're a great cook and have a kitchen. Could you start a small catering business or a cooking channel on YouTube? Or perhaps you're a fitness enthusiast with a knack for motivating others. How about starting online fitness classes or creating workout plans for clients? This is where Samuel F. Robinson's 5-Day Challenge comes into play. It's designed to help you identify your resources and find innovative ways to turn them into a steady cash flow. 
It's a journey of discovery and creativity that empowers you to take control of your financial future. Remember, it's not about what you lack, but how you use what you have. Embrace your inner resourcefulness and watch your cash flow grow. Share this video with three people and comment, done. Thanks in advance.